Tonight I did the first algorithm for a new category um, that I wanted to add into my uh, Swift Playground. Uh, I've called it Silly Sorts. Uh, it's the kind of trivial things that, you know, in real life you would never actually use them. Um, but as a, as a programming exercise, they're quite interesting. Uh, this one's called Sleep Sort. So the way this one works is it finds the maximum value in the array um, and then for each value in the array it calculates a time delay based on the maximum value using it as a percentage. Um, then it, what this one does is it actually dispatches a new thread um, after the time delay that's just been calculated. And then all it has to do is insert its value into a new array. Um, so what we've got here, we've got a random array of 100 numbers um, with a maximum number of 1,000. Uh, and we've created a result array, which is an empty integer array. Um, then we calculate the maximum value here, or we work out the maximum value. Um, we have a function here for calculating a time delay uh, based on the maximum value. So here you can see the maximum delay is 10 seconds. Um, and then uh, for each value in the array, we create a dispatch time. We dispatch the main a main thread queue, uh, a main queue thread after this amount of time. And in the block, we append the value onto the result array. Um, and show the result rate. Uh, so if you take a look at what this one looks like, you have the random array, and then everything gets populated after the, the random sleep values, or the calculated sleep values. As you can see, it's not perfect, because I'm working on a... Um, because obviously you've got uh, race conditions with it being uh, asynchronous and this kind of thing, um, but as a as a kind of a, a a quick and easy way of getting it sorted, it it works and it works in n well, it it works in n iterations. Um, the amount of time it works in in this case is I suppose one, um, because it's always up, up to a maximum of ten seconds. So I can change this to say three seconds, um, but you'll see that the resulting array is uh, a lot less sorted um, and the more time you give it the more s the more separation between each thread and so the more sorted it is um, so if I give this one second you'll see it it has lots of ups and downs in there but as a general kind of way to initially sort the array it's kind of working it's quite cool Again, I'll put the link to this playground in the description. Uh, leave any comments um, about what you'd like to see next in there, and I'll try and get onto it. Thank you.